Hello, we continue the Vintiar Scale tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about server client feature of Vintiar Scale. Server client module allows synchronously monitoring and controlling the process on multiple stations over the internet. Server client feature is based on very basic principle: synchronizing client text with the server text. After the synchronizing the text. If one's value changed, the other one affected with this value immediately. In this demonstration, I'm going to develop a project for server station. Then I'm going to copy this project to client stations and will delete all text in the copy project. Lastly, I will automatically create synchronized tags in the copied projects. In this way, I will be demonstrate synchronized working server and client schedule stations. I will create a basic server project to do this. I'm clicking on new button and saving project by giving a name. I gave the server name for the project. I'm going to connection manager and creating the tags. In this demonstration, I'm going to create internal tags, but these tags could be external tags as well. I'm creating three tags and closing the connection manager to display this text on the screen and setting them. I'm creating three text box object. Text box objects are located in .NET component group in the toolbox. After the adding last text box, I will assign the tag1, tag2 and tag3 tags secondly tag1 for the text box 1 tag2 for the text box 2 and tag3 for the text box 3 and I close the screen designer now I'm opening the control panel server client tab this tab contains settings about determining project, client or server. In this options, local is used when project will not use as a client or server. Client is selected when project will be run by connecting a servers. Server is determined when the project will be run by accepting connections from client stations. Server client option is selected when project will be used both server and client. This project will be the server project, so I select server option. If we want to set the project as allowing only one client from specific address, then we should enter the address in IP address field. TCP IP port is the port number for accepting remote connections. By checking disable multiple connection checkbox, we can determine if server accepts single or multiple client connection. We must click restart button for applying modifications. I am enabling the project for accepting multiple connections. After closing the control panel, I am saving the project. Now I have saved server project. Now I will modify this as a client project and distribute it to client stations so I can monitor and control the processes through the server station. To do this, I'm going to create a copy of the server project. Then I will configure this copy project for client stations. Now I'm creating first copy project for the first client station by clicking Save As button. I'm deleting all tags of the copy project from the connection manager. This de demo project has no external tags. If there is, I should have delete them their tabs. I'm closing the connection manager after deleting the text. Now I'm going to determine the project as a client from the control panel server client tab. So I'm selecting client option. We are going to make some modifications on connect server for client section. IP address field is the address for the server that will be connected. TCP IP port is the connected port number of the server. Timeout is the period for the establishing connection. Poll time 
is the waiting period for the next data fetch from the server. In IP address field, I'm entering server station's IP address. Now, this is my computer's local network address. The reason is why I'm doing this because I will create synchronized tags in here. So I must connect the server project. I am launching the server project in another WinTR instance. So I double click server project icon on the desktop. Now server project is running at background. When I click on connect button, all tags in the server is listed here. I want to create a synchronized tags for each server tag. So I'm selecting all tags by clicking top left cell of the list. And I'm clicking add new tag in clients in the menu. So synchronized tags has been created. We can see these tags in synchronous tag name column. Also permissions for the, these tags can be determined from the read write column as a read write and read and write. We created the tags but the synchronization hasn't been completed yet. We must click tag synchronization table and tag the synchronize button for completing the synchronization. I'm clicking it and closing the control panel and switching the runtime mode. In runtime mode, I can see both projects are working synchronously. I'm changing tag one's value from the server project and see it on the client. And with the same way, I'm changing tag two value from the client and see it on the server. Now we can move this client project to any computer that can reach our server's IP address. And maybe I need to remind that after moving project to client station, we must save as operation on that computer. Now let's close this runtimes and take a look at synchronous tags closer. I'm switching the development mode on client project and opening the connection manager. Even we had deleted text in the client project, now we can see new synchronized tags had been created automatically. But sometimes we may not be aware of which tags are synchronized in this list. To show up synchronized tags, we can right click on the list and select synchronous tag list. We can see the synchronized tags at the right side under the server address. To determine if these tags working properly with the server, we can right click on the list and select synchronous tag test. Now we can see that synchronization is successful because server project is working another instance on my computer. To get this feature more clearly, let's close the server project and click again on synchronize tag test. It's trying to connect the server for a while and displays a message that server cannot be accessed. This message indicates that because of the connection cannot be established, the server is disabled. If this warning appeared when switching the runtime, SCADA wouldn't try to connect the server again in that session. If server will be stand at the next runtime startup, everything will be OK. I'm closing this by clicking the OK. I will start the server project for testing the synchronization again. Server started again and I'm clicking synchronize tag test again and I see that there is no error. In this tutorial, I try to demonstrate how can we use WinTR SCADA as a server and client. Thanks for the watching.